I consider myself a skeptic, and you're, the name of your show is Skeptic Generation. What would be a, yeah, absolutely. What would be an alternate explanation for, let's say, why African Americans um, end up in jail at higher rates other than racism? Oh, uh, lack, lack of money. Um, l lack of the uh, chance to, to defend yourself no, I mean, in, in court. I mean, even being, uh, even before they go to their court date. Mm -hmm. What would be another explanation? I've, yeah, I, I, I've, there's plenty of body cam footage out there. I don't think I need to like come up with something off the top of my head because what I've, what I've seen at least is that, and what I, I, I honestly, when I was out in the sun a lot more, I was a lot darker. People could tell that I was Mexican. <laughs> I experienced as well that if you get pulled over and your skin is a darker color, you're going to get a very different experience from police, just generally. Right, but I'm asking for an explanation other than that, other than racism. I mean, what would explain what 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 gets people in jail other than people arresting them? Well, that's like I'm, I'm 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 trying to understand what you're asking me to explain. Like, if so, someone gets arrested, it's because they got arrested by cops, right? Right. And why would they get arrested? Because they're committing a the cop. Well, actually, if you're going to say committing a crime, take a look at the. Uh, the I hold on. Give me just a second. I feel like I jumped ahead. And I want to take two steps back. Okay, Doug? Okay. Do you think that minorities commit more crimes than white people? Certain crimes, yes. I think the, st like what? the statistics show it. Um, so if you put uh, different pe people in different the, the, boxes. The arrest, the arrest statistics show it. Well, I, okay, if we're talking about do we have the omniscience of God to know for sure, uh, no, but um, being found guilty in a jury of their peers, uh, like, for example, you've heard the people will say I'm racist just for bringing this up, but 50 per, about 50% of all the murders in the United States are perpetrated by African Americans. So when it comes to systemic violence and all of that which again like i feel you, under i feel i i feel underqualified to say the least do you think that so that, that's what i what, the stat i just gave is a result of systemic racism i do okay so i do you do i i and, but come and, up with I, another I, explanation I, well as an example like i've had callers who who have absolutely called in and you know, it's the big family secret that uh, Uncle Joe killed his wife. Um, you know, it's it's it that there are tons of wealthy white people who commit murders and get away with it, and there are tons of like I I feel like if we did live in a fair world, that you'd see an even split along that way that people would commit crimes. I, I mean, like like with the drug thing. Um, it has been studied, you know, do, do minorities do more drugs than white people? No, they all do just as much drugs. They just do different drugs. Right. So, uh, so why do the black people, so why do the black people get arrested and the white people don't? Okay. So one explanation is systemic racism, but I'm asking mm -hmm. you to, as a skeptic, to think of an alternative explanation. I can think of one. What? Well, I, <laughs> I, I don't want to just give it. I want you to think about it and see if you can come up with it on your own. Yeah, so, I think it too. Yeah, e either, it's, either it's systemic racism or racism, just personal. Could, it, could it, there be an explanation that has nothing to do with race? About why people of color are disproportionately jailed? Yeah, someone in your chat, I'm reading your chat as we're going, someone actually even gave it, said it. And that's poverty. <laughs> so, for example, let's say... Well, let's but, say, but that, 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 that's the systemic piece of it. Well, right? well like, but, like but it's not racism, though. It's, they're being... Like, oh, oh, it is, it is. Do you, have you heard of redlining? 
do you know how hard it was, how yes. impossible it was yes. for people of color to get any kind of loans from banks up until very recently that there are people who are still alive who who have like that that is incredibly recent right but eric we're talking about let's say in 2024 there's two people driving on the road one's black one's white and they both have done let's say an illegal drug well and they're driving but you don't know who is in what car but one because one car is let's say older uh it's uh spewing black smoke and it has a tail light out the other car is newer and everything looks fine the police officer is going to pull over that the vehicle, poor person the vehicle with the they don't even know they're poor but you can make that assumption i guess because the car yeah, is no, older I... and has a tail light out so that would be an explanation yeah of why maybe African Americans are pulled over more and charged well, with and, and, certain crimes like drug and you see, possession. Well, honestly, I, I was going to say, you honestly see a lot of people and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to like talk over you to tell you you're wrong. I'm, I'm just also and joining in here that like you see that in, in Appalachia, you know, really badly, you know, places where there are a large population of very, very poor folks. Um, yeah, they, they, they fucking hate the cops. So is this systemic racism against the white people in Appalachia? No, it's not. 